guys. Hello from the farm. I am here at the funny farm. Holy crap. I can't wait to get rid of this mask, people. Black Friday. New laptop. Be able to stream from anywhere. And to celebrate, Gadam's made me rock loco. I am looking at my Mac um, for the chat, so I'm going to have to keep looking around. What, Sanjay? Yes, I have to be shifty dyed. Shifty eyes, okay. Hello, Susan, aka Chuck. Hello, Moena. Hello, Lynn. And Harry, and TJ, and Crystal, and Joy. All my boo boos are here. Okay, so. You can't. They can't hear me. They can't hear me. Sanjay, come here and help me. Give me. It's very muted. Is the volume all the way up? Use all the way up. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Use the mic from one. Okay. Is that up or down? Is that hello, hello, hello? Can you hear me now? I was trying to bring your thing on my phone, iPad right here, so I can see what's going on. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Please let me know. Good. Yes. <gasps> Thank God, it was muted. Let me just make sure it's the same level at the other. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm exhausted. Hi, guys. How are you all? I am so glad to see you folks. Or at least to see your names skittering across my screen. I will try not to yell. What a day, I'll tell you. So, we are at the farm. Um, the kitchen looks amazing. And unfortunately, I can't really show you because I'm hardwired. I flew out of the screen and scared you. Sorry, Susan. <laughs> um, as you can see, my lovely farm. If the sun were up, you would see a big mountain up there. That is Phoenix Mountain. Um, let's see. What can I show you? I can. Let me switch over to this one. Hang on one second. You can see part of my new kitchen there. With all the mess, but you can't see the rest of it. So, sorry about that. Um, let me, I'm going to pop out this chat. I want to see if there's a way for me to zoom in because I am blind as a bat and cannot read this. So I'm going to pop this out and hopefully the text will have me gotten big. If, yes. Oh, good. I can read it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't sing to save my life. Okay, now I can actually see you. Okay. Yeah, that island is sweet. That is an industrial workbench that we got from Costco. Hello, Tammy Swafford. How are you? Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Galena and Donna. And who else that came in? Let's see. Who else? Linda Hansen. Hello, darling. Hello, Janie. How are you, sweetheart? And Donna Burroughs and Patricia and Susan, a.k.a. Chuck and Arlena and Anne Scammon and Joyce Boring and who else? Muena is here. 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I saw Becky pop in earlier. Um, Janie, I certainly hope your, your scan and cut uh, adventures are going well. Mm -mm -mm. Lucky Doodler, hello, how are you? Okay, so let's see. Let's see what happens here. So I thought I would go through the box. Um, this arrived on my door the, uh, the day before I left. You're sticking. Oh, okay. You're, you're sticking, sticking to your mat. Okay. Oh, Brenda is here. Hello there, darling. Oh, this, uh, my husband is a very good cook. This is just very simple white wine and uh, onion risotto. My tummy's been a little off, so uh, I'm trying to keep things simple. Okay. So this amazing little box, which really ain't so little, came from Lynn. And she's in here, and there's her name. I'm not going to show you her address. Okay. And um, opening up my pocket knife here, and we will open this. Where am I going to move it? Only seeing a third of the box. Okay, let me push this back. Um, hmm. I I don't know if I can. Let's see. This gooseneck thing here is not all that flexible. Give me a second, guys. There. That should be a little better. My apologies if I'm making you seasick. So sorry, guys. Okay. I don't hear anything ticking. So I'm going to assume um, that it won't go kaboom. And I'm just going to slice off the tape. Or I'll just I'll slice it on the top here. That's better. Oh, Lynn, you shouldn't have. You're my new best friend. Ooh. I heart coffee. What? This one. Hang on, Sanjay, just a minute. I need, I need, I need the address they got. Come on. No, this is the yeah. there. For later. Okay. Oh. oh, you were waiting for Lynn to pop out of the box? <laughs> Not a birthday cake. What? Not a birthday cake. It's not a birthday cake, Sanjay says. Okay. If it's coffee, it could just be the box. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, Is Kiki. Sanjay? Yes. No. But now I can't work. Okay, okay. Keep on doing it. Bubble wrap is always useful. What happened? No, it did it. Okay. Loves the bubble wrap. Oh, what a beautiful card! Um, 
yeah, this lighting really sucks, doesn't it? Maybe we could take, oh, let me try and take this uh, lampshade off. Maybe that'll help. It'll blind everybody, right? That'll blind us all. Well, it's certainly much brighter in here now. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Okay, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, I'm just trying to check on the... Okay, so beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving Day car. Look at that. Man, that's pretty, Lynn. Oh, very nice indeed. Oh, thank you so much, Lynn. This is beautiful. Look at the embossing on this. Where's the camera? There we go. It's really, it's a high, high, high relief. That's what embossing folders do, guys. I haven't used an embossing folder yet. An HP printer will curl cards? Curl card stock? I don't... It shouldn't. A laser printer. A laser printer would curl it, Janie, because laser gets hot. Wow, I have to, I can't wait to open up my uh, Big Shot and play with, I have a couple of embossing folders, one or, one or two, I think. Very pretty. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's another chicken to add to my wall. Oh, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Isn't that adorable? Look at that pretty little, um, that's rickrack that she's made into a flower. And I don't think that this thing will sharpen. Oh, okay, it did. There we go. So pretty. Thank you. That, um, you know what? Um, tomorrow I'm going to go put that up right in my, um, what do you call it? I'm going to go put that up in my uh, studio. I took some boxes up there. Oh, here. oh my gosh. Oh, land. Oh. Okay, take out the knife. that isn't that stunning oh I love that Lynn thank you oh I love it I'm gonna use that one tomorrow morning thank you oh my god look it's a tip jar folks <laughs> for a buck you get a lap dance <laughs> Did you do that you shrunk that down <laughs> check this out guys let's see if it'll focus focus it's my big haired chicken stamp and she must have shrunk it down and put it in the windows and you made this box right Lynn this is so cute That is really cute. Look at that. Oh, it's a little candle. <laughs> oh my God, that's a riot. 
Oh my god, Lynn. Oh man, I'll have fun with that. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. Oh, Cute little chickens in the windows. Okay. Stuffage of the bubble wrap. My goodness, look at all these things. Oh, oh my God, I love this. Oh, guys, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. That's going up in my studio tomorrow. That is beautiful, Lynn. Look at all the, all the wonderful bling she's put on here. Wow. There must be 50 ribbons or more on here. There's ribbons and there's beads and lace and sequins and frou-frou. Wow. Oh, and there's little goodies hiding in the background here. Let's see. All these little beads. That's beautiful, Lynn. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Oh, Lynn, thank you so much. I don't think it was a TARDIS. I, maybe it's just like a house. I think when you put the, uh, when you close down the, the box, it looks like a house. But I think that's a scream. I love that. This is really gorgeous. Man, I could look at all the little details on this all day. I love this tool. It's very, very soft. Oh, Lynn, you really outdid yourself. Wow, this is fantastic. It look you think it looked like a TARDIS? It might be. It's a lantern. Okay. Man, that is gorgeous, Lynn. Wow. Oh, I need some place to go with all this bubble wrap. Oh, well, this is pretty. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for coming. Hi, Becky. Oh, oh it's a magnet. Very cool. That's pretty. Let's see if it'll focus. No, I think this camera is not, not the best. Sorry, guys. Mm, nope, it's not going to focus. It says, do more of what lights your soul on fire. That's very pretty. I like that. Who else came in? Let's slip that back in here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, look at this, guys. This is beautiful. It's on a frame, so it, you know, it'll stand up. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's on the frame. So it stands up. Wow, that's pretty. Let's see if we can get any details of these flowers. They're all very three-dimensional. That's really beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. Oh, wow, Lynn, this is perfect. I'm going to put all, the, all, the, all my Flockettes birthdays on this. This is great. Wonderful. Yep, all you guys' birthdays is going on this. Very cool. 
That's beautiful. Thank you, Lynn. I was thinking I needed to come up with some way of, of keeping a record of everybody's birthdays. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, let me slide that over there and grab another mouthful of risotto. I love that lace. That's really pretty. Very, very pretty. I don't think I've ever seen lace like this before. It's very soft. Chuck was offended. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, your birthday's on Monday. Wonderful. Oh, happy birthday, Lynn. I know it's a tag. It's beautiful, though. I love this. I have never seen um, this type of ribbon before, though. It's It almost looks like crinkly toilet paper. But it's very soft. And this, you know, this stuff I've seen before, but this one looks almost like paper. It's really very, very pretty. That's beautiful. That will go up on the wall, too. My wall's going to be full already. Okay. Put that away. Oh. A little notebook. Check that out. That'll come in handy. That's really nice. And these are post-its, right? Nope, they're just good old notes. Very nice. Thank you. Aww. This is very pretty. This is made out of paper bags. Man, that's pretty. Let's see if you can see the whole thing. Let's go this way. That's really nice. Nice little, see it's all made out of paper bags. You just fold the paper bags up. Stick them together. That's nice. I love the binding. It came out really well. It, that seam binding. Okay, I've never seen it. It had that kind of texture to it, you know, where it looked like paper. Very pretty. Wow. Oh, I love this one. This is beautiful. <laughs> really pretty. Thank you so much. Just a cool idea with the little tiny pages inside. That's beautiful. Thank you. I love your work, Lynn. It's so nice. I have to make more, more of these things, these types of things for people. Oh, I dropped it. Hang on. Okay. Oh, these are adorable. Cool. Oh, you let that seam binding, uh, you get it wet and then you crumple it and let it dry. It's really beautiful. I've seen that, you know, the standard type of, um, 
the standard type of binding. Oh, these are all magnets. These are really cool. And they are stuck in here. So I'll just show them to you. This, uh, they're all chicken themed and they're all magnets. And uh, it's kind of focusing. That's the big haired guy. Oh, that's one way to get them out. <laughs> Do this. Um, there is the big head guy again. That says, you are a good egg. And hey, chicky. These are really cute. Those I will put up on my bulletin board. Very nice. Thank you. Those are good magnets, too. this guys isn't that beautiful oh I love that that's so awesome that is so cute <laughs> oh Lynn thank you so much oh I can't stand it hello Linda how are you darling this is a happy mail that I got from Lynn. She's in the in the chat room, Lynn Trey. Oh my God, I absolutely love him. And he's got a nice solid weight to him. He'll look perfect on my desk. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. So I got a whole box of chickeny goodness from Lynn. And some of these things are going to decorate my new studio and the calendar I will use to put down everybody's birthdays. The coffee cup I'm going to use in the morning. And I have a beautiful tag to add to my bulletin board. Let's see if you can see what I'm putting back. And here's another magnet flower. And check this thing out guys if you just came in. Is that not gorgeous or what? Look at all these gorgeous tassels. I absolutely adore that. That is so sweet. And a chicken card. And then a beautiful Thanksgiving Day card with all the embossing on it and the, the leaves. And then this little chicken lantern. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. Oh, Lynn, you spoiled me. Um, I will get your painting out to you. And I have a couple other things I want to toss, toss in with it. Uh, as soon as I get back to New York, uh, let's move that over so I don't roll over it and pop it and scare everybody half to death. Lynn is very talented, isn't she, guys? Let me put her address in here so I can get it shipped out again. Thank you so much, Lynn. This was so awesome. What a day brightener, I'll tell you. All right, let's put that aside. Now, let's discuss haulage. Um, having some more risotto. Mama's been a little busy. Yeah, 
I'll have to lift the camera up and show you the pile. Because there's more. <laughs> Okay, let's lift up the camera. Okay. Now let me start going through things here. We'll go through Let's see, thrift store first. So we went to um, we went to Goodwill today, and I got myself a pair, of, a couple of pairs of socks. But I found this. This was somebody's. Um, wedding album and it has um, these little sleeves and I thought I could put some dyes in them I thought it'd be a good good way to store some of my dyes huge mistake uh oh yeah oh why it was really crowded Becky I'm so sorry Kiki, I heard about that. That what a score you got. That's fantastic. So I got this, you know, this one, and it will hold, you know, there's a lot of pages in there. So hopefully that'll hold a lot of my um, what do you call it? Um, dies. Uh, and then I found two rolls of this wallpaper, and let's see, it's textured. And it's like, a, oh, a soft brown, soft white, kind of mushroomy color. But I got two of these rolls. And uh, where's the link? Here. 11 yards or Okay, it's 20 and a half. I can't read this. It's so small. 20, 20 and a half inches wide by 11 yards. And I got two rolls. So I can be I can be sending some of this stuff. Hi, Helen. I can be sending some of this stuff out in Happy Nails. So textured wallpaper. Okay. And then I just found, uh, this is just, you can't even really see it. It's just a metal grate um, that I'm going to use, you know, to hang three-dimensional pores. Okay. And now these came today from Amazon. And they are just bead bead stuffs. Stuff to make the beads. Okay. How did Helen get blocked? Oh, thank you, KK. I appreciate that. Okay. That's one box. from the same place they were all going to the same place so why they needed to be in three separate boxes I don't know but um, these are just a box of findings um, some fire fire wire for bead making um, a couple of tools that I didn't have Hi, Allison. How are you? Oh, boy. Uh, 
and some more wire. Because, you know, you need to have the wire. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Carrie. I'm so glad she doesn't feel, feel that way about me. And a couple of other tools that I didn't, that I didn't have. So now I can play with beads. And I'm going to see, um, does anybody chat with Marie Abrams, Mary Abrams? If she's not, um, well, she, she was supposed to go live, but tonight's my son, my grandson's uh, championship football game. Last, last week was for the, um, the Southern State Championship. And this is supposed to be for the state champions. So that comes on at 7.30. But maybe um, maybe I will come back after that and show you the rest of the things that I got. So today I was in uh, Walmart. And I got, can you read that, glass seed bead assortment. Thanks. I hope they I hope they work well. And of course, anytime I see this, because you can't you can't seem to buy a kit of this anywhere, you know, the whole set. So I got some more of these extreme glitters. Let's see. No, you can't read that. The setting is really subpar, I'm sorry. Uh, but I, Black Friday I'm ordering my new um, laptop. Alright, so that I'm going to put back in here. These were just all the folk art uh, extreme glitter paints and some glass seed beads. And I got one of these things to help me with the beading. Mary, how are you, darling? Yeah, I was I was trying to just see if I could do do a stream from that from the farm, Andrea. Oh yeah, I'm going straight to where did I find the beads? I got these in Walmart today, sweetheart. Uh, they were there was a big you know, a whole pile of them. These are glass. They also had the acrylic ones. Um, so yeah, that's where I got these. I'm ordering my laptop from Costco because Costco is offering um, the two-year Dell Kiss My Rear End warranty plus an additional two years from Costco. Uh, so, also from Hobby Lobby, what, some more wire for different things, and just another, a couple of tools that I didn't have, um, those two, there should be one more here, and one of these nylon tips, pliers, so I got the, I should have all the tools I need now. I had a um, a really crappy set from I think Harbor Freight. So it'll be nice to have some decent ones. And I did order a few that I found were cheaper on AliExpress. I ordered those from AliExpress, and they'll be coming in eventually. Uh, I guess. When the next next few weeks or so, a, a lot of a lot of things already said that they were head shipped. So I picked up some more different uh, different colors of of the glitter paints. And in case you don't know, Folk Art and Ceramcoat are the same company. They're both made by Plaid. 
So this is Ceramco glitter color or glitter paint. And this is the extreme glitter. Did I get crimped beads and the tool? You will need those. Yes. Um, this kit from, from Amazon um, has supposedly has crimped beads and the little clamshell covers for them. So I'll do that. Uh, these might just be the same color, additional color or different color, I don't know. But anyway, so Ceramco uh, had, had a pretty blue, so I ordered that. I picked that up as well. And there goes the paint. And I really like this Createx airbrush paint for pouring. So I got three, uh, three different colors. This is a, a bright purple, this is an orange, and this is a I guess a magenta. And I got myself a couple more of these color shifts. I got uh, aqua and purple and blue and yellow. So we'll see how those do. They're fun to play with. And what else did we get? And I got myself a big tube of Mars Black because that works really well in acrylic pouring. It does not sink. I mean, it does sink. It doesn't sit on top. Let me try and retrieve this bottle of paint. Let me get the paint out of the way. Okay. Um, more wire. And these were, um, these are glass sea beads. And the color is really really pretty so I got those and their Hobby Lobby's beads were all 50% off so I bought some these the color is amazing and I don't think that this is gonna really show show them in a good light but they are just sparkly. They're beautiful blues and purples, kind of like a peacock. It's really, really pretty. And what else? I got some of these soft, they're, they're squares, but they're soft. And they're a bright, vivid blue. And these are, these are uh, glass, they're cold. These don't feel, they feel cool, but these are stone. Uh oh, why is it? Why is Becky making everybody laugh? Okay, Linda, I saw your picture. On, oh, is a sperm or a polywog? Oh no! <laughs> oh, Linda's shielding her eyes from the camera. She does not want to see the pretty beads. Um, there we go. There's some turquoise ones. They're really pretty. And I got some of these here. These are kind of like greenish teal and maybe a shot of pink every now and then. Uh, what else? Oh, these are cool. These are really colorful. really glitzy all like uh, jewel tone colors and that one i thought was fun let's see if i can show you detail not really focusing too well but and those are those are glass they're nice and cold and this is a nice bright orangey pink <clears throat> Uh, 
and then I got these. These are really, really vibrant colors. And some more of these. And these are really cool. You can see all the colors in them. At least I hope you can see all the colors. Uh, I was going to try and do some... Yeah, my camera is humping. I'm sorry. I, it's not It's not a good camera. It's just a... Uh, it's just a webcam. So... There's nothing I can do about it. These are just incredible. I, I have, really hope... You know, when I'm looking in my, in my OBS studio and the image quality looks really good. I just uh, I hope it shows up as well for you guys because these are these are incredible <clears throat> bead candy exactly and then some green ones very similar to the others and then I got these fun ones these are really sparkly and they're not they're odd shaped they're round but they have a hole in the very edge of them. So that's what I got. So that is, that was my haul. Right, for a window catcher. Yeah, yeah, this, this would be perfect for a window catcher. So, what else? Um, I'll show you the necklace that I have. And I want to, I want to, I'm not going to do this now, but... Uh, I, I want to just take a, take some time and watch a few more videos before I start. But I got this necklace years ago at a music festival. And it has, it's got all these hematite beads on it. And they're all magnetized. And all the spacer beads, um, all the color came off of them. They used to be bright and shiny colors. So what I wanted to do, and this is on metal. So what I thought I would do is I would just, um, what do you call it? Take this apart and use the hematite beads again. Because I want to, um, you know, I want to be able to use the hematite as the closures. But you can see this thing really stretched out. And it's quite long. Let's see how long it is. Um, it's probably a good 26, about 30 inches long. Oh, that would be wonderful, Alice, and that, that would be cool. Oh, I'll, we'll certainly help you out. My son can offer some advice. I can offer some advice. The, the one thing that I have to tell you is that the most important thing is you need to have a network cable. I know people stream from their phone or over Wi-Fi all the time, but the quality of the images really suffers. Now, even though I'm pl plugged into the network here, I am not using a quality camera, lighting, or, you know, computer. So uh, it's lacking. And I can see that it's trying to refocus. And so those, those are some of the issues that you have to watch out for. But uh, always willing to help folks figure out a way to do it but anyway so this is the this is the necklace i'm trying to replace i really do like it i don't know if the magnets help my neck or not a new addiction <laughs> so anyway um i don't know if i'm going to play with anything i brought all my beads that i had purchased before and i think you've seen them 
I'm going to open up the box. Socks are not art supplies. They're not? No, they are not. Are these my beads? Yep. Okay. Maybe it's like... Okay. And my husband and I had delved into soap making a while back, and we had gotten a whole bunch of these containers from AliExpress, and I thought I could use them to put beads in them. You know, take them off the strings and what not. Oh, Allison's comment. All right, sweetheart, let me scroll up. I'm going to figure out what, how to get what I have for cameras and mics and lights lined up, disconnected and reconnected. So we may be having some issues. Okay, I don't think I missed. I did read your comment, Allison, <clears throat> and I will certainly help you set up. Okay, what did Joyce do? Joyce had horrible pain in my thumb. Oh, a copper ring and the pain is gone? I'll have to try that. Um, you know, if you know a plumber, <laughs> or if you have any plumbing work, you can just take like a quarter of an inch of a pipe that will actually fit over your finger, and you can sand it down and make it soft. No live tonight. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see what time it is. It's 7.04, so I'll, I'll stay on for at least at least another half hour. I want to watch my grandson's football game on the big television. <clears throat> I Yes, you need to have a network cable, darling, not Wi-Fi. I These were some findings that I've got from some kit from Costco about 10 years ago. And I have all these little drawers here that I can put beads in also. And I'm pretty sure I showed you these beads. These were from Michael's, and they too were having a sale. Let's see. Where's the sisters to these? Here they are. Yeah, two of those, and then there's another one. There it is. Okay, so we have those beads. Alino printing videos. Oh, I haven't done that in decades. That would be cool. I'd be interested in that, Moena. I definitely, I haven't thought about doing that in years. I just dropped some more beads on the floor. So nice if I could bend. Okay. I will show you the beads. So we got these. And right now I'm just showing off beads that I got, um, Kimberly. I was trying to do a set, of, you know, a stream, and I kept running into roadblock. So I think these are all pretty similar, right? And these. Oh, 
Man, these are slippery. Can't really see the colors. The camera is not doing them any justice. Hi, Linda. How are you, Linda? These are really gorgeous. They almost look like you can see into them. And this is a different color. These are all pearlized. What else did we get? Oh, just some AB beads. These are plastic, actually. These are glass. They're real sparkly. Oh, that would work, Becky. That would work. These are just amazing. These are, I just love these. These are definitely, you know, in the same in the same running as, as these. And these are also on a chain too, so I like that. Oh, Becky's going to the hand center on <laughs> Monday. Um, these are some cute little charms. They all have different sayings on them. And little owls. This is not going to focus on this, I'm sure. But Oh, it did. Look at that. Ever so f briefly, it did focus. They're owls. Uh, this is just uh, 48 inches worth of chain that I thought might look nice for bangles on uh, on books. Hey, there you are, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't have any beads. My God, folks, if you are not, you have to go subscribe to Dances with Pitbulls. She is absolutely insane. And she just went through a bead haul to end all bead hauls. You have to go check it out. She sorts through this thing. Uh, this is a selection of feathers and wings and more feathers. And then some Buddha hands. Oh, and there's still some more beads. Uh, these are plastic, but I just thought that they were cute. These are the little rondelles. And, you know, just because this is all these are all glass beads. And they're all different shapes and colors and Amber, no dropping of the beads, damn it. Okay, now I have to crawl under the table. Don't want Rosie accidentally picking it up thinking it's a blueberry. It's not a blueberry. No blueberries. Oi. So that there is my haulage. Okay. <laughs> I want to make, you know, I want to make, I got some memory wire, not realizing that it was supposed to be used for bracelets. So I thought, okay, well, I guess I'll make some bracelets. This is 20 gauge wire. This is memory wire. So this basically memory wire is used for um, bracelets, correct? Yes. Do you have any idea how much money there is on that table? Um, oh, okay. uh, 200 bucks maybe? <laughs> I 
We'll be surprised if it isn't and pray that it's not. <laughs> So anyway, so I don't know, maybe I could, um, uh, yeah, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I will put some of these beads in some containers. Okay. I didn't bring nearly enough containers, that's for sure. So, yes, yeah, supplies I had a quick. What adds up quick, especially, is the tools, because I didn't have any tools. I had a couple of pieces that were um, from Harbor Freight, and they were garbage. They had teeth on them that you can't use on the jewelry wire so they weren't all that good but if it's already in a box I'll leave it in a box but maybe I could try and mix up maybe some of all these circles I think they're all roughly six millimeter I think, I think, I think they're all six millimeter. I don't know how many will fit in a container. I to have an affection for six millimeter. Okay, that's the end of the round ones. Yeah. Yeah, I had a run-in with a staple the other day. Dang thing sliced my finger wide open. Okay. So I'll just put, I think I'm just going to put all of the round ones in, you know, one container, just so I can play with them and look at them. Yeah, they do sell pretty much junk. Yeah, they do. But some of you know, they do have a higher end um, version of tools that are actually quite good. We just we just actually got a couple. So if you're careful and you know what to avoid, it's pretty good. Yeah, they have to be made out of good steel and they have to be heat treated. Yeah, those are expensive to do. So, Come on now. Oh, it's wrapped around. Well, now why did you go and do a full thing like that? No dropping the beads. Yeah, the craft card from Harbor Freight, you like that? Maybe I'll end up getting some more of those. I got uh, I got a craft card from Costco, and it was pr pretty good. <clears throat> Hello, Mimi. Okay. Now, somebody decided that they had to tie a knot in this, so I can't get them off. Come on. Yeah, I don't like the rickety ones from Ikea uh, or Michael's. I want to get the, the, you know, the big red one. I bet... That's the one you have, isn't it, Becky? The red one? There we go. Hi, 
Pink, how you doing? Oh, for heaven's sakes, honest, honestly, people. Wow, really? All right, that's not gonna work. I do have tools here, don't I? Nippers. Where are the nippers? There they is. Nope, that's not them. That's not them. Well, some of my gun. Ten more minutes. Ten more. Here it is. No, that's not it. Ten minutes to P uh, Kelly's game. If you want to watch. Yeah, okay. For the love of Pete, guys, I can't find anything on here. Yeah, it's almost game time. We're going to put it on the big screen and watch it in there. Are these the nippers? No, these are not nippers. Are they nippers? No, they're not nickers neither. Nippers? No. That's the crimper tool, but where the heck is? Maybe I didn't get that. The flush mount cutter. And I'm bleeding. <laughs> okay. Yep, it got me. Anyway. All right, I can't figure out how to get this. What do you need? The, um, what do you call it? The thread. I can't cut the thread. Mm -hmm. On some of these beads are... Tied on. What are you going to do? Yeah, because they're far enough. Yeah, I can't get it off. Yeah, good luck, Wildcats. Oh, I'm always game for cooking, cooking videos. Anybody wants to learn how to do Indian cooking, go check out Kabita's Kitchen. Uh, am I using a beading needle? Um, no, because I don't think I have one. I, don't, I didn't bring one with me. I was just going to use the wire and uh, do it that way. But anyway, I can't get... There it goes. Got one off anyway. Two more to go. So that was that was my haul. That was my happy mail. And I think what I'll end up doing is ending here. And yeah, I I tried to use I tried to use my little clippers, uh, my nail clippers, but they didn't work. And I have to look in my box because. Um, my I don't have my side cutters. You know those little tiny pointy cutters? So they're not in this box. I thought these were them, but these are the crimpers. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I think what I want to end up doing is I'm going to end this stream now. And I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go watch my grandson's football game. And then tomorrow, um, I have a lot of stuff going on. We have to help rebuild the bridge for, for down by my neighbor's house. Uh, so we're going to be hauling rock all day. But I did test, I did test being able to stream from the farm. Um, I need to obviously work on my setup and everything, but um, I know it works, so we should be good to go. Um, let's see, when will I go? Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I got a lot going on. Not sure when I'm going to 
stream again. I'll try and come up with something. We'll do some like junk journaling on Sunday and uh, on Sunday night. And then the auction is Monday um, over on Brenda's channel. So if you want to see, uh, I had asked folks to put stuff in the event that I put on my group, but um, I guess they haven't gotten around to it. So my items that I am offering are on my group page on Facebook under events. So you can go see the items that I've, I'm going to have there. And what else? I lost another bead. There it is. I think that's about it. We'll do some junk journaling on Sunday and then the auction on Monday. So, All right, guys. I am going to get out of here and go watch my grandson win. And uh, I want to thank you all for popping in. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry it was a little bit chaotic and, and it's not the best quality. I apologize. That bothers me, but um, I'm working on it. All right. So you all have a great night. And... Lynn, thank you again ever so much. What a fantastic box of love. That was really extraordinary. So thank you, everybody, and I will talk to you all later on. So long now, guys.